detailed look. So there's the famous auditory bulla region of Dino Kakuda. It is a deep well of intricate anatomy. There's a very intimate look at the teeth of Dino Kakuda. Look at the depth of this jaw. It is immense. It is very, very deep. In case you missed it, you got to check out my talk with Dhruv where we really get into detail about hyenas and Dino Kakuda specifically. These two teeth would have been used for crushing and then this wear that would have been shearing but also crushing. And then that smaller carnassial I think suggests that this animal was not as social as the um, spotted hyena. Most social. That last carnassial versus Dino Kakuda versus the brown. Brown has a much smaller carnassial than the spotted. Potentially a lightly daintier female individual. Perhaps a mother that had cubs. She was under threat from potentially Agriotherium and definitely Amphimachirotis. Because as ferocious and potent as this battery of teeth would have been, hyenas are immobile in their limbs. They do not have the same grappling capabilities as the giant cat. Today, hyenas suffer greatly at Machirotis was no lion. Hyena might get away with a very bruised musculature, if not some broken bones from a lion but a well-placed stab in the thigh, in the neck, in the shoulder, in the back of Dino Kokuda. Significant strain on her ability to provide nourishment and care for her young. It must have exercised caution when tangling with Amphimachirotis.